Hey, I know a lot of you are fed up with a lot of the apps, the file managers for Android that are out there. But here's one I think you're really going to like. And I like it the best myself. It does everything I need. And I can do it with my computer, you know, to my Android box and so forth. So it's kind of nice to have. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the one I like. Now this app is available for all Android devices. If you want to get it, you can get it through Google Play Store. Or you can actually get it through Amazon App Store if you're on a Fire Stick device. You can even download it from the developer's website if you need to. Now I put time chapters in the description below in case you want to just go to certain sections. But I do suggest you watch this video straight through it. It'll kind of give you a good idea of what this program can do. Okay, let's get this sucker installed. Hey, before we take a look, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it so much. Maybe hit the bell notification. It's going to let you know when the next video comes out and another video that you might have won a prize on if you entered those drawings. So if you would go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this, I sure would appreciate it. Okay, when you're on an Android TV box, uh, Android system like this, this is an NVIDIA Shield. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and go to Apps, and up here where it says Get More Apps, Now you can go ahead and go up and go to search and you can actually speak it if you like. Explore. Let's see the way it's pronounced anyways, but it still will show up here. And that's the file you want. You want to go ahead and click on that. And since I already have it installed, I can update it or uninstall it, but it'll actually ask you to install there. Now we can go over to the Fire Stick Android device and I'm going to show you how to install it on that. Okay, we're on the home page. We need to go to the magnifying glass. Now you can either hold and voice it or you can just come down here and start typing it out. And since I already have it installed, yeah, I'm going to click on it. It's going to go right to it. Now, once it's installed, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, we have two panels, which is very nice, and I'll explain how that works. But you have a left-hand panel and a right-hand panel. Left-hand panel is right there. You can go over and hit your right-hand panel. Now, it's really quite simple. You have a lot of different things on each side then you can customize it. Like over here, you can go to your root, or you can go like App Manager. It'll have all those apps in there. You can go to your root, and it'll tell you, you can go into your storage, your system, vendor, exactly what you need to do when you're in your root, of course. Now, like I said, you can move your files around, back and forth to external storage. Now remember, with any system, you cannot move the system files to the external storage. System files are in programs do not move that way. Okay, let's go ahead and go through the functions on the Explorer File Manager. Now, I can't go over absolutely everything because it is just feature packed, but I'm going to go over the main things and you can uh, download it and try it for yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll go back up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that side. Okay, let's go ahead and go, uh, let's try this downloader. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to hold the select button, and that way this menu here will pop up. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and move this. Is you just scroll down to move, or you can actually put it in a zip file if you want. But let's go ahead and move, and what this is going to do is it, I can move it anywhere I want in the system. Now with this system here, you can have it, this box checked where it says move mode. It will delete the file that's in the original source file when you put it over into a different file. Me, I kind of like to uncheck that just in case something goes wrong. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and here's your, your storage. It's going to go into download. So let's go ahead and try that now. It just moved it over here to your download section. So now you can actually take this file and hold on it again. And you can go down here and go delete. 
So you want to, I don't need to keep it in the recycle bin. So let's go ahead and take it and go like that. And you're all set. And now it's over here for you. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over to that side. We're going to go ahead and close that up. Let's go up to the top. Close that. Okay, now you have you have different ways over here that you can go. Let's uh, let's run through them real quick. DNLA is a basically a way to share your data over your home network. If you have a compatible backup hard drive, this makes it easy to move files around and so forth. Images, files, even movies. Vault. Now, Vault is a way to add security to your folders and on your system. So, what you can do is you can click on Options. You can put New. And you can actually add a password, a name, and a password. So, others can't get into it. Okay, now, Show here. You can actually click on that with your select button. And as you can see, you can you show hidden files. You show uh, the LAN, the FTP. You can unmark it or mark it. Uh, web storage, app manager, so on and so forth. So that way it won't show in your right-hand panel. Now you can also do this on the left-hand panel too. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to web storage. Now... What is web storage? Okay, this is where you can add like online Google Drive or Amazon Cloud. You click on that and you add a new server. You can just put it there, Google Drive, Dropbox. Uh, has all these here that you can use. It's really a, a great item to have. So it kind of brings that in for you too. Okay, then now that you're in the center here, let's go ahead and look at, this is where Wi-Fi server is really great. As you click on that, and there you go. You have an actual IP address with a, uh, a port number on the end there to get to this panel off your computer. If you want to control your file manager from, like, say, a laptop or a computer, uh, it does require a donation of about $4.99 um, to get this app for your computer. But you can do the exact same thing on your computer that talks to your Android box. So I'll show you, let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, as you can see here, uh, this is on the laptop. You go to the address provided, and what you can do, um, you can do pretty much everything that you can do on there. Uh, let's say I wanna go ahead and let's, I have something here. Now, there's a file Cody that we switched over. Okay, if you want to go ahead and click, it's going to download it. Now you can click on this, it'll download it, or you can come up here, click on that, and let's go ahead and we'll delete that. Okay, now if you want to go ahead and download something, let's go ahead and take that. You want to take it from your system or you want to upload. So you have uh, up directory, you have delete, you have make a new folder, you have rename it. You can upload your files right here from your computer, which is very handy if you don't have a download section uh, or you have it downloaded on your computer and you want it on your an APK on your Android system. Now you can also download it by doing this. Okay, it's going to create a zip file and I'm going to OK it. And it's going to go ahead and take it down here and we're downloading it right now in a zip file. And it's all set. So now that I have it, I'm going to go ahead and delete that file also. Now I know there are places out there that are going to give you a modded file version of this that you can install that you don't have to pay the $4.99. But I wouldn't trust those. <laughs> you know, they had the unlocked version out there. Uh, but I would say spend the five bucks, come on, and keep your system safe because you don't know what they've done with that modded version. You don't know if they can enter your files and so forth outside the system. 
So just stick with the person who wrote it, the developer who wrote it, and pay the man the $5. It's not worth the trouble if you're going to have your system wiped out. Now you also have the SSH file transfer. Uh, that's standard stuff there. You have an FTP. If you want to add a server there, you can add a server. App Manager. This is where you're going to get all your apps. Now, you can use the App Manager to go ahead and open up any of the apps that you have on your system from right there. Okay, say we're on uh, the Samsung USB drive. There's 230 gigs there. Uh, let's go here and you have what they call Disk Map. What it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and put it into this kind of layout so you can see. You can see what's using what, how much it's using, and so forth. That's Explorer File Manager in a nutshell. It is, to me, one of the best that's out there. But as you can see how well this dude works, uh, you're going to like it. You're going to want it on all your devices. But please, I just want to reiterate about not getting an unlocked version uh, free of charge from a site. You're letting them into your system, okay? Do not do that. It just isn't worth it. They can do whatever they want once they're in, you know. And once they're in, if you're hooked up to your router and other things on your network, and so forth. So you get what I'm saying. Few but Just pay the few bucks if you want to do it from your lap. But I just want to say thank you to everyone and all your support. Uh, it means a great deal. And I thank you so much. So until next time, have a fantastic day. Be safe. I just want to say thank you for watching the whole video to the end. And I want to appreciate everybody that does that. Uh, if you would, though, if you're not subscribed, hit that little button right here. It will help the channel tremendously. And as always, maybe look at our other videos here and you might get an idea of what you want next on your system. And until next time, I'll see you.